How's it going guys, Zach Cox here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, we're going to be showing off a very cool, unique, and forgotten location inside of Grand Theft Auto 5. Now, if you guys do go on to enjoy the video, a like rating down below would be greatly appreciated. If we could go for 6 likes on this video, that would mean the world to me. As well as, don't forget to click that subscribe button, that way you guys never miss out on an upload. And without further ado... Let's go ahead and get started with the video. So, this is a continuation of a series I, I started about two weeks ago. I will annotate in the top right corner of your screen the first episode that we did showing off a very cool location of Grand Theft Auto 5. But this one is probably the coolest one that we're ever going to show off and do. And this is Solomon Richards' office at Backlot City or the, or the film studio or the movie studios and Grand Theft Auto 5 and what kind of sort of makes this unique is not only the things inside of this office but the fact that the only way to actually access this office is to complete the murder mystery that was released with the next generation version of Grand Theft Auto 5 on the Xbox One and the PS4 and if we backtrack to the Xbox 360 or the last generation consoles or version of Grand Theft Auto 5 you can and you, st you can still encounter this office and the campaign but it's only through cutscenes of Solomon Richards when you do missions for him in the campaign of course and it was always my wish on the Xbox 360 and I always just fingers crossed hope that there would be some sort of glitch found out to allow you to access this interior and different things like that but that was not the case and then with the release of GTA 5 on the next generation consoles or the current generation consoles Rockstar has given us the opportunity to go in and check out this office through the murder mystery and then after you complete the murder mystery you could still access this office at night so that's awesome inside of this place you're gonna find different uh, collectibles vintage items and things like that such as there's an alien bust and a zombie statue bust inside of a uh, a little shelf here or a little case there is a zombie or I already said the zombie but there's a monkey that's what I meant there's that there's film reels there's awards different things like that and then on the desk there is a letter written by uh, someone before they were murdered so that's very cool it's a very creepy office to say the least but it's overall just a very cool office it's got just a cool environment or just a cool feel the, the environment's really cool and overall it just reminds me of LA Noir. if you guys are familiar with that Rockstar title but this is just a very cool place to check out like I mentioned before the only way to actually access it and unlock this is through the murder mystery in the GTA 5 campaign and then through the different cutscenes of Solomon Richards you can see the interior but you cannot access it so that's very cool I love this location to death and it's probably my favorite one in the game so you guys let me know what you think of this down below and you guys let me know in the comments as well what other locations do you know of in Grand Theft Auto 5 that you'd like to see me cover in another Forgotten Locations episode I'll pick the best one and the say the, the one with the most uh, thumbs up on it but with all that said now the way if you guys did enjoy the video a like rating down below would be greatly appreciated don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video